Remember, the reason we do these exercises are for improved posture and alignment, which takes pressure off the nerve and leads to great health. So these are instructions for proper abdominal exercises. We're going to focus for this video on the upper abs. What does that mean? We have one abdominal muscle. It attaches the lower ribs into the pelvis. It's one long muscle, but it's really divided functionally into two parts. And the dividing line is the belly button. So we're going to focus on the upper abs. Many people screw their necks up, and I've seen this a thousand times, they screw their necks up by doing their abs. And I'll see sometimes that they're not getting better, and I'm like, what's going on? And they'll say, I don't know, and I'll ask them about their abs, and they'll they say, oh yeah, I do a thousand sit-ups a day. And with each one of those sit-ups, they're messing up their neck. Why? Because they go like this, pulling their head forward. So, hard no rule. This is the most important thing about abdominal exercises, is to keep the space between the chin and the chest open to not change it. Remember, your abdominal muscles are down here. If your head to, to chest ratio is changing, you're not working your abdominal muscles. You're working your neck muscles. We don't want to do that. So what's the proper way to do it? First of all, you're going to bend your knees. That's going to flex your pelvis a little bit. And then many people put their hands behind their heads. I prefer this method because when you put your hands behind your head, you, even though you're concentrating on keeping your chin to chest open, you do have a tendency to pull on your head forward, and that's going to mess up your neck. We don't want to do that. So, hands folded like that against the chest, nice and relaxed, and then just a very simple crunch. Go ahead and do that. Bringing your lower ribs towards your pelvis. That's where the abdominal muscle is. You can relax. That's where your abdominal muscle is. Anything else is not going to help. Go ahead and do it again. The other thing you want to concentrate on in is, of course, breathing. And this is very important, pulling your abdominal muscle in. Go ahead and go down. So what does that mean? You'll see very often when people do abs, they go like this. And they crunch their pelvic, their abdominal muscle outwards. We don't want an abdominal muscle that goes like that. We want an abdominal muscle that scoops inward. So as you come up, you want to pull your abdominal muscle in and exhale at the same time. Good, let's show a couple more of those. Good, coming up, relaxing the arms, crunching here, pulling inwards. And if you do this properly, without all the extraneous stuff, without the head coming up, without pulling on your head, and just your abs are working, these are hard. And doing just a few of them will really produce good results. Last one coming up, crunching and pulling the abdominal muscle downward towards the spine. 